Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Main Engineers. We provide you the main solutions. Today I will show you how to access blocked websites without using VPN over a Wi-Fi network. This is very simple. All you need to do are simple settings in your Wi-Fi router. You should know all the devices on your network such as your computers, laptops, smartphones, tablets, etc. Acquire their DNS server settings from the router. By default, your router uses your internet service provider's DNS servers. If you want to change the DNS server for your entire home network, you will need to do it on your router. If you change the DNS server on your router, all the devices on your network will use the same DNS servers and you can access the blocked websites. There are a number of third-party DNS servers available. Personally, I prefer OpenDNS and Google Public DNS for security, liability, and speed. When changing DNS server settings, you should specify at least two servers, that is primary and secondary servers, to ensure that request will always be answered. To do this, open your router's web interface. If you are not sure how to do this, you will probably want to check the manual or search online for a specific model of your router. You can find the instruction for opening the router's web interface and any default username and password combination you need to sign in if you have never changed it. Once in the web interface, find a DNS server option or something like that in settings. The option may be under LAN or DSCB server settings. Change the DNS server of your choice and restart your router. I recommend open DNS or a Google public DNS. Remember, your data will not be encrypted but you can access the blocked content. You should note that it may not work in countries where internet is heavily censored. I will show you how to do this in my case. Let's see. You have to open the address 192.168.1.1. This address may be different or different router. You have to find it by yourself. And then it will ask you for the username and password. You have to enter the username and password of your router. And then login and then go to the interface setup and go to the LAN and if you see here DNS delay use auto discover DNS server only it means it is using the DNS server provided by the ISP now I will change it I will use user discover DNS server only that means now I will specify the DNS server I will use the Google DNS 8.8.8.8 and the secondary server also I will specify here 8.8.4.4 and then I will save the settings okay the settings is saved now now we have to restart the router either you can turn on or off or you can do from here system restart go to maintenance and system restart and choose current settings and click restart once the restart is completed you can check once the restart is completed you can open any website that has been banned in your country you can see here youtube.com is working now and facebook.com is also working so will you change your DNA settings to get these advantages